James Buchanan, graduate of Dickinson College and a native of Pennsylvania, was one of the best prepared and yet least successful presidents in American history. During his long career, Buchanan was a state legislator, congressman, senator, U.S. minister overseas, and even secretary of state. In 1856, Democratic candidate Buchanan defeated Republican John Fremont and American Party candidate Millard Fillmore in a hotly contested three-way presidential race. Buchanan's stormy administration then began in the shadow of the Dred Scott decision, announced just two days after his inauguration in March of 1857, and most of his single term in office was then consumed by the bitter politics of slavery. As slaveholding states began seceding from the Union following Republican Abraham Lincoln's victory in November of 1860, Buchanan tried vainly to stop the nation's collapse, yet he was never willing to employ the forceful measures that Lincoln later used to save the country. Frustrated and exhausted, Buchanan then retired to his Wheatland estate in Lancaster, where he wrote the first presidential memoirs in American history, an angry defense of his most unpopular political choices. He died in Lancaster at 77 in 1868.